Hi there traders, this is Chris from Elite Currency with an update on the Euro dollar and Pound dollar. Last week we had a lot of setups with ECS Live by the way. Check out ECS Live trading 17 trades, 12 wins uh, in last week alone. And here you can see the stats of the last uh, one year and three months. So check it out and join us for the setups of next week. All right, this is the euro dollar, and uh, if I remember correctly, we had a win and a loss on the euro dollar last week. But uh, Nenad had four wins, so in total with his CAMACD system, so in total we had five wins and one loss on this euro dollar uh, alone last week. A lot of trading on this one due to the breakout, of course. Now, we got a bounce at the 38.2 fib, as you can see. We're looking at this fib here and saying, okay, we, we made a breakout. Remember on Thursday we said, Okay, we got the breakout. That's great. Now we're looking for a pullback and continuation. And uh, this was a great breakout candle, you know, breaking above that 115 resistance zone we had. Now we're looking for a pullback into that same resistance zone for a bounce. So we have had this, this pullback. We haven't had the bounce as yet. It might still occur. Price is still at a uh, support zone at 114.50 that I consider to be a bouncing spot. So let's take a look again at the four, four hour chart. All right, so what we have, what happened basically when we put back this FIB here is that price bounced at the 38.2 FIB, but didn't have the follow through to continue right away. Rather, it broke below this uh, support trend line and made another leg to the downside. So what happened was that we got actually a bigger ABC correction. It expanded, all right? So the, the 38.2 FIB was not uh, enough. Price is now retesting the 50 FIB. So let's take a look at the hourly chart and you can see that we had a bounce right at the uh, 50 fib right at the 38 and right at the 23.6 fib and uh, it looks like we're getting now a, a kind of a pullback a retest of that 50 fib this could be a double bottom moment of course that's something we'll find out after the weekend if that's true if it breaks below this 50 fib then uh, well it could still be theoretically a wave four but it is a little bit less likely all right, if it bounces at this 50 fib, it could easily be a wave four, ABC, and up it goes. So, from my perspective, the confirmation of a wave five, sorry, wave five, is if price breaks above the 21 EMA on this one hour chart. All right, so or we can put a trend line like this and wait for a trend line break. So, it's either the break of the 21 EMA, the break of the trend line, or wait for a break, pullback, and continuation. Of course, we never know for sure. If a pullback like that does indeed take place but typically if price does break below the 20 new may uh, with that many candles then the chances of a break pullback continuation happening is quite uh, decent so that pullback is you know not that strange look at this we had also quite a lot of candles below the 20 new may and you can see that once we got the break we did have a pullback before continuing all right so um i think that's likely uh, but uh, let's see. So we first need the break of the 21 EMA. Of course, if you're a reversal or, or, or more risk-oriented trader, you might even think about trading the 50 fib itself uh, before you get any breakout. Uh, you know, looking for maybe uh, right here or looking for a bullish candle. You know, those are definitely options. Uh, but uh, I like to use the moving averages, and I rather wait for more confirmation. I typically don't trade at the fibs directly i use them more as a trigger zone all right so for the moment price has made a deeper retracement um as expected it made a retracement to 115 but it's going deeper than that it's still possible that it can continue but it will depend if it stays above the 50 fib if it goes below the 50 fib it could still be a wave one in theory uh, sorry a wave four sorry <laughs> if it stays above the wave one here at 114 20. All right, so that's an important level. So it could still break, hit the 61.8 fib and turn and still be a wave four and we could still get an upside. But that said, um, of course the retracement is a lot deeper than I expected. So if it does go below 114.50, it's a little bit of a gray zone. It's a little bit of a, a, you know, a difficult zone where it's a question mark. Of course, if it breaks below 114.20, then something else might be going on. I would have to reanalyze it on Tuesday. I'm not sure if it's going that deep. Uh, we'll have to take a look again. It could be that this is finishing a wave one and down it goes for a wave two and then still goes up for a wave three of a wave C. That could be maybe the second 
uh, likely, most likely alternative. And in that case, um, you know, we might be looking at uh, other bounces, deeper bounces maybe, at 113.20, 113.50, to finish that wave one, two. That could be the alternative. We'll take a look at that on Tuesday if that indeed occurs, if we do get a bearish break uh, within the next, uh, you know, 36 hours or so. All right, so weekly chart, by the way, one last look. Uh, is a bullish candle, although we have some wick at the top. But to me, still more looking like a bullish signal than a reversal signal. All right, pound dollar. Broke above the resistant top that I had in mind. Uh, so, you know, it's not the bearish formation that I uh, expected. All right. And uh, yeah, Brexit news, of course, is going to dominate this pair and the pound in general this week because on Tuesday, if nothing has changed since last week, since our last look looked, uh, it uh, there will be a vote in the UK um, regarding the Brexit deal with the EU on Tuesday, uh, January 15. All right, so that of course will heavily impact the market. Now, that said, just looking at it from a technical point of view, I will not probably trade it until Tuesday because of that uh, vote, or until Wednesday probably. But from a technical point of view, we had a pretty impressive wick at the bottom last week. And uh, we had a pin bar in the daily chart. And now we have a close and break above the 21 EMA and above the previous high. So now it's looking like it might make a bigger retracement to the upside. It might be making a trend to the upside again after this break here of this trend line like this. And uh, it, although it's you know, in the, in the bigger picture, it's counter trend for the moment. Uh, we are trending on the lower time frame to the upside. All right. So I think that it's difficult to say what this could be. Maybe a wave four still. We can put a fib from here to here. Like this. And the price could go up to the 38.2 fib at 130. Maybe even up to the 50 fib at 131.86. All right, so once again, once again, guys and girls, ECS Live Trading for our live setups, SWAT setups and CAMACD setups from Nenet. And Nenet has more automation in his uh, trading system now, so he's setting a lot of setups. Check it out through ECS Live Trading and uh, join us this week. All right, wish you all great trading. In any case, thanks for joining this video and uh, see you soon. Cheers.